Hello YouTube, this is Gabriel and this is the latest and greatest with my tank. As you can see I got some cool looking fish, like tree fish, ornament fish. Yeah, it's becoming to look a little more like Christmas and my tank didn't get away from the special treatment of uh, being decorated. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'll let the wife uh, do what she likes, I guess as long as it's not hurting the fish on another note I have an update in the bedroom here we go using my awesome testing board that Deb Tim a Canadian girl there's her autograph did for me I tested the water and my um, new breeding tank colony as you can see the pH is um, probably 7.6 maybe a little higher which is good for the cichlids the next one is the here the ammonia which it's clearly yellow with nothing in there the nitrite this is hold on let me make this zoom there you go nitrite's clearly blue nothing in there and for the nitrates hmm maybe about 5 ppm so water is good I'll change the water in a little bit um, or in a week or something it's not too bad and there's only gonna be five fish in there um, anyhow so that's where we're looking at did I say five fish check these bad boys out five yellow blazes I'm pretty sure it's two males and three females not 100% sure yet they're a little small uh, let me put them in the water to acclimate and then I'll show them to you in a bit. Okay, so I'm about to release these and I was in for a, a little, I had a little dilemma. Um, I have these 11 babies which were uh, my OB and uh, red top, um, albino red top babies. And I wasn't sure, should I put them back in the 10 gallon in my room and keep them safe? Because initially I thought these guys would be quite a bit smaller than they actually are and wouldn't be able to eat them. However, they are pretty large and they will be able to eat these guys. So I thought, put them back in the 10 gallon or let nature take its course. Of course, I didn't want to leave them high and dry. So if you guys remember, at one point I had made this thing here from my tank out there. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in because those little holes will fit all of these babies. However, they won't fit those. So out of these 11, if they're smart enough to hide, then they survive. If not, well, then that's on them. All righty, just drop them in. They're getting acquainted. Will they notice that there's all the baby fish and start trying to eat them? If so, will the baby fish start to hide? Um, I don't know. I think right now they're a little too scared. But if you can see clearly by their size, they're big enough to be able to eat these fish. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe they, maybe the fish got a couple of weeks to learn to hide before these guys actually learn to eat them. Um, as they haven't eaten any real food yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh They are hiding the little ones are learning to hide real quick. Um, so anyhow Let me go ahead and uh, get this set back up put the light on and take a little more video I'll probably drop some food in there for the bigger boys, too. I'll be right back Check them out right now. They're all swimming in the same little corner one two three four five as you can see them and then no one's inside of here right now and all the babies are over here on this side <laughs> they ain't trying to get mixed up with these big boys look at that there's some beautiful beautiful fish man i'm very very happy with them oh, i'm not sure if i mentioned it yellow blaze or z rock um that's what these bad boys are i'm gonna try to breed these bad boys see how it works out i was told they're pretty hard to breed um we'll find out i uh Got these here. They're already a decent size. Maybe a few, three, four more months before they're ready to uh, breed themselves. But um, I'm pretty uh, happy right now. I'm a little nervous for these babies. They need to find their way into this safe spot. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Let me go ahead and turn on the light and throw a little bit of food in for these big boys and see what happens. There they go. They know what they're supposed to be eating now. They're finding flakes. As they're coming around, they're munching on them. That's awesome. So they are eating good. And uh, they're totally ignoring the babies, which is awesome. Because, of course, I don't want my babies to get eaten right now. 
But uh, now that they saw some flakes, they were munching on them, and now they're looking for the flakes. The little ones are still scared, but apparently as of right now, they're not in danger. So uh, hopefully before they do get in danger, they learn how to hide and uh, keep themselves alive. See, they see a guy, he went up looking for a flake. He realized it was a baby fish, left it alone. They've never eaten fish, so they don't know yet, I guess, at this current age. But, um, of course, they will grow up and want to eat them. But by then, those should be smart enough to learn to hide. And we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, this is where we're at right now. I'm a very happy camper. I'm excited about the progress or this potential of getting these bad boys to breed and uh, make their own babies. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Just turned on the light here. The little guys know exactly what that means. I mean, there's food in the tank. These bigger guys still, since it's their first day, don't really realize that. Um, went ahead and dropped in a little bit more flakes. Hopefully they'll catch it, catch on and uh, grab some for themselves. I turn off the current because it sucks up all the, the flakes in there. So I turn off the current while I am... Um, that guy's eye looks kind of crazy. Um, while I feed them, I turn off the current for a while so the little ones know what to do. These big ones are still a little nervous with their surroundings and um, kind of hiding over here. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work out. You guys see that guy's eye? It looks real glassy or foggy. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, if you guys know what that is, let me know. But uh, if you can see with the light on, uh, some of these look a little lighter, which I'm assuming are the females. Like that one way, the two near the heater right now. This guy up here, looks like he's got a little yellow on the tips, a little darker. This guy too, looks like he might be a little darker. So I'm guessing there might be two males and two females right there. That third one back there, who knows, maybe three males and two females? I have no idea. No, it's kind of... I don't know. I have no idea. We'll have to see how it turns out. Um, looks like these guys are looking at the babies or wondering how they're eating. You get, they don't know to go to the top to grab the food. Um, oh, now they're spotting food. They're actually, it's really good. They appear to be ignoring the babies. The babies are really scared over here in this corner. See? They're all down here. But the fish appear to be leaving them alone. So they need to hide in the tubes. Because the bigger ones won't fit in the tubes. So it doesn't appear that these bigger ones even know because they haven't eaten live fish yet. So that's good news. See, look at boom. They're getting the flakes. Um, so hopefully they stay like that for a while. At least enough time for the babies to get to know how to hide and not worry about these big boys trying to bite them. Um, there's still more flakes up here. They just don't know that they're there yet. And as of right now, still no babies hiding in the tubes. They'll learn. Now they're all over here by this um, filter because of the fact that the big guys are all over here. We'll see what happens. They'll learn. Make sure I'll take its course. One, something or the other is going to happen. We'll find out. Anyhow, this is where I'm at. Here's my 15 gallon. Uh, already got some water in it. Getting it cycled. Um, possibly going to put my female of the OB from over there into this tank by herself. And maybe have a female tank for a while. Or I'm not 100% positive what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe a second breeding group can go in here with smaller type of fish. Uh, like a lemon jake or something. Um, anyhow, so that's where I'm at. This is going to be my breeding colony. Uh, five um, yellow blazes. And... Uh, keep recording I'm nervous that they're gonna eat the little ones but it looks pretty safe we'll see anyhow so this is Gabriel I'm very happy very blessed to be able to do what I'm doing uh, thank you for watching and have yourself a blessed day